Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This seed starting video is all about using a heat mat. So there's about 20 videos in my seed starting series for 2020. I will link them. It'll talk about everything you really see here. But today's all about heating mats. We're going to talk specifically about peppers and tomatoes. Peppers and tomatoes are warm season crops. A heating mat's really only needed indoors for the warm weather crops. Anything that likes temperatures to be 65 degrees and higher for germination, your warm weather plants. Your cool weather crops like to germinate 50 to 60 degrees. If that's what the temperatures are inside, you don't have to really worry about the cool season crops. If you were seeds starting outside in a garage or a cellar where the temperatures dro drop below 50 degrees, then you could use the heating mat. In my grow room, the temperatures are 63 degrees and that lower temperature really came when I moved to my farmhouse. Prior to this, for all the years I was in a different home, temperatures stayed closer to 70 degrees, everything germinated quickly. I, my peppers would germinate in seven to 10 days. So today is the 15th of February. These were put in on February 1. It's been 14 days. They're germinating much more slowly than I like because it's 63 degrees in here. Even with the lights, it doesn't heat up the bottom of the seed starting mix as well as I want to. So the temperatures just aren't right. So I'm going to use a heat mat. I'm going to put it on now. These are hot uh, peppers. They tend to grow more slowly. So I want to use the heat mat to speed things up so that I can get to uh, better transplants come, you know, later in the spring. Once they germinate, we'll talk about that too. Your peppers are fine at this temperature. These are peppers I started uh, probably middle of December. That's a sweet pepper on the right. That's a scorpion pepper on the left. You can see the hot peppers tend to grow slowly in general. But once they're growing, we're gonna take them off the heat mat. So how do we set this up? This heat mat will raise the temperatures from the bottom of the flat. The flat just sits right on there, 10 to 20 degrees. So that's gonna take this up to 73 to 83 degrees, which is perfect. Tomatoes and peppers love the heat. The closer you get to 80, the more quickly they germinate. So in here, it gives you some instructions about what plants like in there. There's cool weather crops. So if you kind of use a heat mat on say broccoli, cabbage, your cool weather crops, bring the temperatures up too high, they're gonna get tall and leggy. Here's an example. Your cool weather crops don't typically get tall and leggy if they are started like everything else. Like I have my lights three inches above my cool weather crops there. They're getting plenty of light, but here's a plant that is really skinny. That's because they like the cool weather. So when they hit this 65 degree temperature, they take off, they stretch, and they can get tall and leggy because of the heat. So if you used a heat mat on here and you were germinating these at 70, 80 degrees, they're gonna get really tall and scraggly. So you don't need to use a heat mat on your cool weather crops. Just want to be clear about that unless you're out in the garage where the temperatures are much cooler so to set this up one thing you want to do is make sure that first your seed starting mix is saturated this is nice and dark i watered these yesterday but it, it, it didn't uh, water in a level kind of way i think i had the tray tilted a little bit so nice and dark saturated over here dry. You want moisture through the seed starting mix that will help bring the heat through to the seed. And you basically, I always bottom water. Check out the playlist that I will put in the video description to show you how I bottom water, set up all these seed cells. And I'm just going to put in enough water to really fill some of the, the bottom of the tray. It doesn't need a lot because I watered it yesterday, but that will help get water into these dry areas. So first thing, make sure everything is saturated. Next thing is you want to leave this mat on 24 hours a day right from the get-go. So I use a timer on an outlet here. Anything that's plugged into the right, you can see the black plug, stays on 24 hours. Anything to the left is affected by the timer. So when my lights go off using this timer, the heating mat's going to stay on. How long do you leave the heating mat on? Well, you're going to leave it on. The instructions here actually say shut it off after half your seeds are germinated. I don't agree with that. You can follow it. It works. I like to wait till everything is germinated when you have the same type of plants in there. So these are all hot peppers. 
you know, if you had some tomatoes, some peppers, some other plants, um, other seed varieties, they may germinate at different times. So leaving the heat mat on too long can cause some problems. However, not if they're all the same. So I have all hot peppers here. I'll leave it on till they all germinate and I want them to get past this stage. So what does that mean? So they all germinate. I'm going to leave the heat mat on probably for another, I don't know, three to seven days until these leaves get larger and I start seeing a leaf grow in between. I just want these to get off to a great start. Why I would shut it off sooner, I don't know. So once they're all, they've all popped, they have that leaf starting, shut off the heat mat, you don't need it anymore. You're just using the heat mat to get the seeds to germinate, get established, and then let them deal with the cool weather, uh, or the colder weather once they're bigger. And you can see that they do perfectly fine with the cooler temperatures of 60, 63 degree in here once they've germinated. All right, so let's set this up on the shelving unit and that should be really enough information for you to pick up, you know, a heat mat and use it. Now, oh, one more thing. This is just a basic heat mat. I don't specifically recommend this one. It was just available in the store. It was probably about $20. The price range is going to vary anywhere from $15 to $60. This does not have a thermostat you can adjust, but it's regulated, so it's only going to stay at a specific temperature and raise the temperature of your flat 10 to 20 degrees. I have an affiliate, Amazon affiliate store. It's linked in the description. You can go there. You can see some example examples of heat mats. I don't specifically recommend anyone there, but it'll give you some ideas on price. So don't pay too much. I mean, this is just a basic heat mat. I tried to get the cheapest one and it works effectively. So you want to set your heat mat up something like this. Typically I'd want the cord in the back, but when I turned it the other way, this cord just rolled up. So you want it to be flat, however you need to set it up. And then your seed flats would just slide right in and sit on it like that. And that's all you really do. Do not water, yeah, do not water into the tray over electricity. Always pull this out, water somewhere else, put it back in. All right, let's swap this out with the uh, peppers. And that's pretty much the basics for using a heat mat. Use them for, for your warm weather crops, like peppers and tomatoes. It will really speed up germination. Peppers will germinate extremely quickly at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat mat will do that. It's gonna raise the temperature 10 to 20 degrees. You don't really need to use it for cool weather crops, except for reasons I already explained. I turn it on right away, leave it on, and then I keep it on you know, maybe a week past germination just to make sure the plants get established. But you don't have to leave it on really past once they break the surface if you don't want to. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out the playlist on seed starting indoors and subscribe to my channel. There'll be a lot more videos and I'll also be showing you how I take everything under my grow lights, get them acclimated to the outdoors, get them into the ground. I'm also going to be doing seed starting straight in the ground. Be safe. Don't use water near the electricity. Thanks for watching.